Okay, John, there's a lot of T swings in this video. These are the first few, and you can see yourself coming up on these first few. Then we kind of shut down. You see these, you see your head rising up. And then we started kind of working on, um, you know, just focusing really on getting that knee underneath you. And right here is where we started working on that. Well, you really have to start thinking about your knees. You really do. I mean, there, there. You don't really need to do much with your hands. You've got really good hands, and your your shoulders are not going up in the air like they were. Um. You know, I'm just saying that that. You know, for your benefit, you really need to focus on. You know, your knees. I mean, that's just. You have no. You you know, you got plenty of time right now to do that. And spreading out. Logically, you know, you're not going to raise up as much. And whether you start off with a, you know, your feet really, I don't care if you start off with your feet close together. Babe Ruth did that. But he really stretched out pretty far. Um, he, he brought his back knee underneath him. You know, and that, that's something that on, in time, I, I, I just feel like you're going to get. Okay, the last few swings were right after, like the last three swings are right after Steven said, look, you know, you've got to get that knee under you. You see your leg kind of jerk up a little bit right there. You know, it's like he, then he demonstrated, you know, what it's like to have that femur pointing straight down from your hip socket down to your knee. That should, it should be, not, it should be 90 degrees from, from the floor. So whenever you see yourself in a video, uh, you know, just about every swing you see, um, when it's not straight, perpendicular with the ground, what I want you doing is I want you to <laughs> come up with some plan to where you you automatically just do a hundred uh, reps to get that knee under you. And then what you're doing is you're going to start relaxing your left leg more. You know, right now you just tense up your left leg and you flex that, you tighten that that left leg muscle in your in your thigh instead of just letting your hip turn around and, and shoot you know the weight of your you know your leg kind of going forward anyway you know you're gonna work this out and I, I know you will so you know it's just one of those things you're just gonna have to work on spreading out is gonna help eliminate a lot of the upward movement and so I'm happy we kind of talked about that. It's just going to be a lot of reps. And, uh, you know, I want you to see the um, see these reps for yourself. And then you're going to know that, hey, this is, this is what I need to be doing. So you're getting great extension right there with your arms, your, your left arm. a good load, good transfer of weight. A little bit more of an inside pitch, which your hands are going to kind of go away from you like that. But that looks good. Let's just get that leg working and uh, more reps. We'll see you next time.